What's going on guys, Topher Rocks here and welcome to part two of my community college talk. Uh, first off, just want to talk about the gameplay real quick. Playing some Battlefield Bad Company 2, playing some Conquest on African or Africa Harbor or something like that. Uh, it's pretty sad. I, I've been playing this game for you know a decent amount of time now and I still don't know the names of like the seven or eight maps. You know, it's not that many maps to remember, but uh, still don't remember the names. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun. Been playing this game quite a bit lately and uh, actually been putting up some pretty good games. Uh, pretty surprising because I'm not a very good player, but I I've definitely improved quite a bit over the past uh, you know couple of months and it's been a lot of fun and. You know, pretty exciting. Uh, you know, the Battlefield beta, uh, Battlefield Three beta comes out. Uh, you know, like next week, which is you know pretty awesome. I can't wait, and you know, hopefully, get to play with some of you guys and you know kick some uh, <laughs> kick some ass on Battlefield, which is uh, always fun. And uh, oh, I'm just loving this game right now. But uh, this is a pretty good gameplay. I actually uh, put up a pretty darn good score. One of the best scores in the lobby. One of the best scores I've uh, ever had on this game. So, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. But I just had a few more thoughts that I wanted to finish up talking about uh, you know kind of discussing with you guys about college and school in general uh, first off just want to talk about tests a little bit uh, for me testing has definitely been a lot tougher in uh, college or community college where I go um, you get a lot less like Scantron you know just all multiple choice tests it's a lot more fill in the blank and short essay and uh, you know more written exams uh, you know over the multiple choice true false that I used to take in high school you know pretty much exclusively in all my classes back then uh, testing's definitely a lot different now and it seems like in college like you have to study if you want to do good you have to study for the tests um, in high school you can usually get by you know because you have to show up pretty much every day in high school you know if you want to graduate obviously so you know if you're there in class um, you know you're gonna do pretty well but uh, I have the tendency, I'll admit, to skip some classes uh, in college. I just, I'm just not a huge fan of school, and uh, I just uh, sometimes I need those mental breaks from from class, and uh, which is pretty bad to admit. But uh, just being honest with you guys, but yeah, testing's been pretty tough. Um, finally, took a my first test of the semester. It was an art history test, and uh, over uh, some artwork from uh, like ancient Egypt and. Uh, prehistoric Western Europe and stuff like that and it, it was pretty tough and I was honestly pretty worried about it and I really didn't study too much uh, for it except for like I don't know 45 minutes or so before the before the test in between classes and uh, that actually worked really well I, I think I did extremely well on it um, I won't find out until Monday how I did on it but I, I if I got anything lower than like a 90 I'd be pretty, uh, I'd be pretty surprised but the test was pretty tough um, it started out like uh, we had uh, slides that we had to study of you know different artworks from back in the day, and we had to remember um, you know obviously look at the slide that you put up on the board, and then we had three minutes to figure out what the title of the piece was, uh, what civilization it was from, the date uh, it was made, and like a significant fact or something like that uh, about each one. And, I would say we probably had about 20 slides that we had to study and she put about eight of them into the test so that was kind of tough because we didn't know exactly which uh, slides we were going to be going over so that made it a little bit tough and then we from that we went to um, like six uh, essay questions which was pretty tough or short answer questions whatever you want to call them uh, to true and false and, and multiple choice and then some matching for some vocabulary so pretty uh it was a pretty long test it, i was one of the first ones done and usually i'm one of the last ones done i'm typically a pretty slow uh test taker because i don't know uh if you guys saw my video about my me talking about my reading or whatever like uh i don't know it just doesn't sink in and, and sometimes i have to read uh, questions multiple times to kind of understand what the question's asking me and stuff like that so uh Typically a pretty slow test taker, but uh, that one I, I was one of the first ones done, and I was surprised like how confident I felt after that test. Typically, after a lot of tests, I, I just feel like God damn it, I, you know, I bombed that test. But uh, after that one, I was, you know, I, I'm really confident that I did really well on it. You know, I, I felt really good while I was taking it. I was like, oh wow, I, you know, I know this, I know this, I know this, and there really was hardly anything on there that I didn't really remember. Um, and you know that helps uh, when you don't miss any classes. That's the only class I haven't uh, skipped this semester. So, um, you know, going to class definitely makes a difference, especially for tests, because um, you know there's in almost every class you have to take notes and listen to some lectures and stuff like that. So, that definitely helped me on my test. But 
Uh, another thing about testing that I, f I just freaking hate is, uh, you know, you, you get all pumped up for the test, you know, if you study for it or whatever, uh, you go in there, uh, you know, basically just focused on the test, nothing else. And, uh, you know, you, you get the test, you do it, you know, you feel like shit or you feel great afterwards, whatever. Um, you go up, you turn it in, and then you leave, typically. Uh, but some professors, some asshole professors, uh, like I had last semester, I had one teacher that uh, would, uh, you know, you'd have to take the test, turn it in, and then you have to sit back down, and then we'd go over the new, uh, you know, like the new chapter that we were going to go over. It's like, what the hell is this? You know, in high school, of course, you know, if you take a test, you have to, you know, finish out the rest of the class period. But in college, uh, that's been the only class where I've had to stay um, and, and, you know, start the new material. Uh, I just thought that was freaking ridiculous. Like, you know, your mind is just so worried about, you know, the test. You know, typically, you know, at least that's how I am. I, I get kind of stressed out for tests and stuff like that. I get a little worried that I might not do that well. But, uh and I hate that, and it's just like I want to get done with the test, get it over with, get that monkey off my back, and, and kind of get that stress off my shoulders. And then I got to sit there for a freaking another lecture, um, you know, after we just went over a whole bunch of material and you just tested us on it. It's like, ugh, that's a, that's a little unfair, and I really don't like that. I don't know if, if that bothers any of you guys, if any of you guys are in college or were in college. Um, if that happened to you, but uh, that's a pet peeve for me. I, I, I freaking hate that. Um, uh, what do I want to talk about next? Uh, the length of classes. Uh, that's kind of a bugaboo for me, too. Um, I have three classes. I, I take four classes a semester, and three of them are two hours and 50 minutes long. And God damn, that is just a long-ass time to sit in a classroom. And uh, they're all art classes, um, so it's not quite as bad. You know, you're not sitting there lick, uh, listening to a lecture the whole time or you know, just listening to the teacher, you know, blah, 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 or sitting there, you know, reading chapters or anything like that. You know, you typically you're doing projects and stuff, but uh, man, three hours in one classroom, that's just a long time. And yeah, they give us like five and 10 minute breaks, but uh, it's just not enough. Um, I like having, you know, like hour and 20 minute classes and then having like an hour in between classes to go home, kind of refresh my brain, get something to eat. And uh, I kind of screwed myself when I when I did my schedule because I signed up for classes late because I didn't think I was going to go because I was going to look for a full-time job. But uh, my mom wanted me to go to school. So, you know, and I wanted to be in school too. But, uh, you know, I, I honestly thought she wanted me to, to work full-time and, and make some money. But, uh, you know, obviously I'm in school. But uh, anyways, uh, back on topic, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays I have two three-hour classes back-to-back -back, um, with only a 10-minute break in between, which really, really sucks. Um, you know, so I'm basically in class from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock, which is really, really rough, and, and it really sucks. And uh, I don't recommend that for you guys. If You know, if you have two long classes, uh, try and space them out. Try and, try and put some time in between. Maybe go to the cafeteria and get something to eat or, or something to drink. Um, cause it's pretty rough. Uh, I'll admit, you know, I sit there for three hours and then I have to do it all over again. And, you know, not too fun. Uh, did that today and it wasn't that awesome. I have to admit, but, uh, yeah. So, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's not a big deal to some people, you know, maybe that's not that bad sitting there for that long, but, uh, I, I just, uh, three hours is too long for me unless, you know, I only have class like one day a week, but, uh, geez. Yeah, I only talked about two things in this video, which is pretty bad. I, I have the tendency to kind of babble on and ramble on about stuff. But uh, oh, those are two things that, that uh, kind of bother me or, or you know, things that uh, I worry about uh, in, while I'm in school. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I did pretty good in this match. 38-20, uh, and 20, that was like one of my better games that I've uh, ever put up. And I got a ton of pins, which is awesome. Um, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just wanted to finish up a couple of thoughts that I had. And... Uh, I'm going to be doing part two of that uh, breakdown of Black Ops soon.